let's quickly draw an inclined surface without IFC file or DXF file, 3D volume, so without anything. For example, we model an inclined surface um, 15 meters by 8 meters. So apply. Now I see the inclined surface editor. I created uh, the photovoltaic field. But now I need to characterize the surface. I can use the commands surface or vertical enclosure or maybe the opening. But now let's use the surface. Let's draw here in the left window. You can apply. I can select on the right the surface and decide if the plane is inclined or maybe it's horizontal. You can choose from horizontal, slope line or maybe through three points. So now choose the slope line. So we zoom and we can select the point P1 the higher point for example and it should be properly the ridge line or the point 2 this is the roof gutter line and we can assign on the right the inclination percentage for example here we can choose the 30% of inclination but this is properly an inclined plane it's not a roof but we can also model the vertical enclosure on the plant on the left side and see what happens on the 3D models on the right. We select the point with a left click of the mouse, we see the altitude value and we can change it. I can put for example to zero. Then I can change all points. So now this is properly the roof. So I can apply and finish the editor steps. We can go to the 3D model. This is the model of the roof. We can define on this object properties as materials, colors, or we can add the photovoltaic field. So I'm designing the PV plant on the roof. So I want to put the correct position of the plant on the, the object. As you see, software recognizes the surface. Um, it becomes as a grid when selected. So one click and we enter in a new editor. It's similar to the previous one. Here I define the useful area for the plant. So I can create a polygonal line I can insert a new node, I can change the node in arc line, so I can create the shapes I want. Or I can go back, if I want I can offset from the edges, for example I can offset less 20 or maybe less 10 centimeters. So I obtain the real surface for the people plant. So click on finish button. If I select this new surface, a new command appears. It's in the upper toolbar. It allows me to design the PV field, so the modules, thanks to a, a wizard. So, software is describing position, the inclination, the azimuth, it's zero in this case, and 17 degrees for the field angle. Or I can choose if modules are not parallel to the surface. So I can change the tilt degree and obtain the efficiency. But in this case we are designing on inclined surface. So we place modules parallel to the surface. And we choose the fixed mountain structure. But we can choose from fixed, horizontal, single axis, vertical or dual axis. 
So I'm going to create the architectural constraints. So we push next. Solarius is looking into all modules archives. Modules present into document archive, linked to the project and present into the user archive. In this section, designer does some important choice. First of all, the design criteria. If he wants to design with maximum power, for example. So cover all area possible with the modules selected and maximize the power. I want to locate modules on vertical line, not horizontal. I can also set the distance between the rows, so shading factor between modules and distance between modules or from the edge. At the end, I select to look in document, user and program archive, but I can also use specific archive, which is document, user and program archive for just for simplicity. We can also define the balance of system BOS. It's around 25% for scientific literature. It's about loss due to reflection, to shading, to inverter losses, uh, to temperature effects, and lots of other um, kind. These parameters are standard ones. They are calculated with this mathematical formula, but I can deselect specified from losses and insert the value of BOSS. Or I can also restore. So confirming, I'm going to design with 74-97% uh, uh, of BOSS, so around 25% of loss. Or maybe I can change these other parameters and save it as default. Now we can confirm. So I interrogate all archives and Solarius shows me all modules, but I can always apply some filters. I can apply filters on all columns. For example, I can go on power module and apply a new filter. For example, modules with power equal to 300 Watt. Solarius shows me all 300 Watt modules, but I can always delete the filter and drag a column header. I can apply filter by type or maybe by power. So when I explore filter, I see type polycrystalline and I can choose all modules with different power of 300 Watt. We can decide a module and Solarius shows me 70 uh, modules. This is the number, uh, the numbers of modules and that's because we set the maximum power criteria. So using this set, we are around 21 kilowatts of uh, total power. Instead, if I want to design a specific power, 3 kilowatts, for example, we calculate again, we interrogate uh, the archive and choose modules of uh, 300 watts. So what's happening? Now we obtain 10 modules. And this is according to our design criteria. So we click on end. Solarius positioned the modules on the 3D view. Then we can add the inverter, the general switch panel and other elements. But first, we see how to model from a DXF file. So we have to use a specific data. We have a, a reference. So let's click on the 2D graphics and choose on DWG or DXF drawing.